Hi, I'm Jam with Academic Technologies. Keeping track of the tasks and projects that come up in university life can be stressful, especially when those tasks require coordination with others or multiple moving parts. Fortunately, there are multiple online tools now available to help you keep track of all your little notes and reminders, coordinate on tasks, store resources, and more. Today, we'll be looking at the basics of one of these tools, a Google-based application known as Keep. If you have any questions while watching this video, you can reach out to CNU's academic tech team or to me directly at jana.doherty at cnu.edu. Google Keep is designed to be used both within a web browser and through mobile devices, allowing you access to your notes, to-do lists, and reminders from anywhere. For the sake of this video, though, we'll be showing you the platform through a web browser and providing a link to the mobile apps in the description below. The easiest way to access Keep through your web browser is to go through other Google applications. CNU Connect will log you in using your Google credentials. For example, we've already opened up our Google Drive here, where we can see the full list of Google applications available to us by clicking this icon in the top right. If we click More, I'll be able to see Keep. You can also access it directly through its own web page, keep.google.com. But if you go to this web page directly, you may need to sign in. The structure of this platform recalls something many people would be familiar with in real life, a bulletin board, where you can post to-do lists, sticky notes, photos, and more. You can already see here that I have several items of those types already posted. And you can immediately start making more by using the bar right at the top. For example, maybe I need to give myself a quick reminder to call someone. Once I click Done, that note is made. I want to note that when making a note, you can attach additional tools to make that note more useful. For example, if I add a reminder to this note, I can allow that note to send me a notification. Let's say I need to call him next week on Monday. Reminders can also be used to tag a note with a location, which will send a notification when your mobile device approaches that location. So if we click Remind Me, I can pick a place. You can also add other people as collaborators to a note to let them see it and use it. Let's say I want to throw my coworker Will on there. can see now that he's able to view this note. We can change the color of the note to make it stand out, or we can add an image to that note after anything else that we've added that is relevant. Let's add this image here. Now that's a simple note. While those can be useful, especially with all these other tools attached, you can also use this bar to create to-do lists or add media like photos or drawings independently of a note. You can see icons for many of these items within the top bar itself. Let's actually take a quick look at two of these icons in particular, the checklist and notes with drawings. I'm going to start by clicking new checklist and let's say we need to make a checklist for an upcoming meeting. I need to write an agenda Send out meeting reminders and book a location. Once I click done, that to-do list will be posted to my keep. As I go through and complete items, I can actually check them out. So maybe I've already written the agenda and booked the location and I just need to send out the meeting reminders. The second item we're going to be looking at, a note with a drawing. And we'll see that clicking on that note is actually going to bring us into a space where we can start drawing using this pen icon where we can select the type of pen, 
such as the color and the size. We can also select other types of pens. Or use an eraser to eliminate parts that we don't want. Once I click done, I'll be able to post that drawing, but maybe I just need to post a little bit about what this is. Individual notes are listed from left to right with your most recent notes appearing at the top left. However, all of these notes are mobile within Google Keep, meaning I can organize them in whatever way makes the most sense for your mind. Me, for example, maybe I like to keep my phone call reminders at the very top. I can click and drag this note to the location in the platform that I need it to be in. If you need to delete a note, or simply archive it for later without having it on your main platform, you do that from within the note itself. So if I look at the tools at the bottom here, there is a if button separate for archives. Maybe I need to archive this for later. However, if I need to delete a note, I would click on the icon indicating more and select delete note. Archive notes can be viewed from within the archives, where they'll stay permanently unless you choose to unarchive a note and bring it back into the main space in Keep. While deleted notes go into the trash, where they will be permanently removed from the system after seven days. Let's return to our main note space by clicking Notes. The last things that I want to discuss are tools within Keep that can help you further organize and locate your notes. Let's say you need a way to view your notes that are related to work separately from any notes on personal tasks. For example, if I need to see my to-do lists on videos without being distracted from my notes about when I need to go to the DMV this weekend. These notes can be sorted into categories using a tool known as labels. You can see the ability to create labels on the sidebar here. In order to utilize labels when making your notes, you have to create a label first. So we can do that by clicking Create New Label. And let's make one that says Urgent. I'll click Done, and I can see my new label listed on the side. Once the label is made, I can attach it either to existing notes or add them to any new notes that you create. Let's say we're going to add a label to this note here about our phone call. If we click the item that says more, we can select add label from the resulting dropdown and add the relevant label. If a note is relevant to multiple labels, say this is also a work item, don't worry, you can add as many labels as you need to a single note. We'll click Done, and we can see that those labels still persist. Finally, you can also use the search bar right at the very top of the platform to look for individual notes. When you click inside the search bar, you'll see that you can search by the type of notes or the tools attached to them, such as lists, images, drawings, and reminders. You can also search by labels, collaborators, or by the color of the note itself. However, you can also search individual keywords still using that search bar in order to narrow down your search even further. For example, let's do a quick search for notes with video in them. And we can already see our note has already popped up. Thank you for joining us for this short video on Google Keep. Once again, if you have any other questions, please feel free to reach out to us in Academic Technologies through our help desk or to me directly at jana.doherty at cnu.edu. Bye.